update right now. After all this snow, extreme cold temperatures are on our doorstep this weekend. Local 5's Connor O'Neill tells us where you can find a warm place amid these approaching dangerous temperatures. This weekend, the wind chill is expected to drop below zero. As we edge closer to the end of Friday's blizzard, the snow may be nearly done falling, but temperatures are not. We want to make sure that we have spaces where our citizens can go to get some relief from the really cold temperatures. One place that emergency responders say people should go is a warming center. These are shelters, businesses and libraries open in Des Moines. Provide sheltering to our most vulnerable citizens during difficult times. These warming centers are great resources for those without a home or for those with a home, but their heat stops working and they need a way to escape the cold. Whenever there is extreme weather, we are one of the few public places left where people can go, where they don't have to buy a cup of coffee, they don't have to spend any money, they don't have to leave after an hour. Des Moines Central Library served as a warming center Friday as well as on Tuesday during the snowstorm. And during these two severe weather events, the library has served an average of 30 individuals. But there is a catch with these businesses and libraries acting as warming centers. They're only open during normal business hours. If there's a barrier in place, whether that be transportation, transportation, um, the housing of a pet, or even just a security concern, um, we can help to alleviate those concerns and really get people in to a location where they can be safe during these extreme temperatures. And for anyone who can't drive or doesn't want to drive in these snowy conditions or in the frigid temperatures coming up in the next few days, DART's providing free transportation to anyone wanting to access these warming centers. In Des Moines, Connor O'Neill, Local 5 News.